So I've seen this video on Joey's Walls, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter of this disgusting individual who decided to put her nasty drawers inside the container where the food is at and accept no consequences from it. Now you see fellas, these are the type of 304s that are not just in the US, but other countries, of, um, but from other countries as well, to think that what they're doing is justifiable. Them doing some nasty things in the gyms, in the stores, knowing that they're in a public place. It's not going to get them into trouble. So, I personally think that social media has destroyed these people. It's a thinking that just because they're social media influencers, they can just do whatever they want. I get it's a free country, but doing this in their country? Oh, you lost your mind with this one. In the supermarket again, and I'm going to leave, a little donation. Oh, my God. Box. Thank you. Thank you. That is just trifling. Brother, uh. A little donation. And she did it in the next area? What in the fuck? The milk. We got milk. What the fuck? Leave it on the cow horn. So it says here it happened in Mercadona supermarket. Lord have Spain mercy. The supermarket is lawyered up and is pushing for charges to be brought against her. She was also told to leave the country. If I had the power and it was my decision, there's only one place you'd be going, you dirty little donor. You're going to jail. Yeah. You're going to jail. Are you doing a video or yourself? Yeah. Right here. Or me. Yeah. Are you secretly filming me? Who are you? Mr. Red? Hey, for you to know. I'm the dude going to the 12th floor. They just decided today to divorce his wife after 15 years. That's who the fuck I am. Who are you? He called. Oh. Hey, just when you think that she's about to be delusional with her idiotic videos like this, the man with the hat came in and just dropped the bomb like a G. Oh my God, that's crazy. He's been released from a 15 year prison sentence. And it's yeah, funny, that fellas, do not wait 15 years to leave a woman that makes you unhappy. How to initiate physical touch with her. No interest. But here's a cool Excel trick. If you hit Alt A T, it'll add filters to columns to make it easier to comb through data. Is this a type wow. of girl that you would date? Possibly. You know damn well that's a yes, possibly. You know, possibly I'm not everybody so far, so I'm like, no, I haven't. well, not no, I have, I have it. You said okay, possibly. possibly. I said possibly to you too. Yeah, you I remember that. Okay, the, re rewind the tape. What do you think about her? She's decent, you know. Nah, you can't. Would you would you date her like if you saw her outside? No. Oh, okay. Why not? I wouldn't either because if you dress like that, where when we're out in the restaurant and you got other niggas looking at you while you're on a date with me, it's completely disrespectful. Like, if we're going out in public, whether we're going to a movie theater, a restaurant, casino, um, hotel, on trips and stuff, family events, cookouts or whatever, you can't be dressed like that around my friends and family or in public, especially when you're on a date, when you're in a relationship or a marriage. And if they cannot understand our boundaries of what we want in a relationship, then they're not the one for us. So them dressing like that is no for me. My girl's thick. <laughs> Why do these Muppets go on these shows if they can't say rejection or any sort of criticism? I hate shows like this though. I don't think life could get any better than this right now. My girlfriend's feeding me grapes. I'm driving a boat. I have a daughter. Show them the steaks. And she's cooking me steaks right now. Hey. I feel like I'm in a dream. God, look at this view. Look yeah, y'all. You see this? This is a W. This is a W. Oh, somebody will go. Love it. I love it. This is what being rich is all about. A wife that gives you peace of mind, a healthy kid, and a few beers and stuff. Not only that, but being poor is the exact same thing, too. If you get you a good woman that can go through ups and downs with you without leaving you at your lowest, but stays with you at your highest that can build you up from ground up just like that in a video, 
You're all set. Put them behind somebody's back. Oh, don't TikTok me, brother. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the bedroom real quick. Hey, something. he ain't wanna be in no video. Yeah, go ahead. You sure? Yeah. I bet. Yeah, she's gonna come in the bedroom real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, yeah. Crazy. Rate him. For real? Why you stick her tongue like that? Like. Like a six point eight. <laughs> what you mean by that? Do you wanna meet up again? He cool. He cool. He can. He can be the homie. <laughs> chat, chat, what you been saying, bro? 6.8? What are y'all talking about? You gave me 6.8. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know why they're saying Chat, that. say on oh God she said that. <laughs> why would you even put chat, that on stream? Oh God she said that. If you're on a date with a girl and she friend zones you, then don't waste your time. Yeah, bro, this is second. not. Just move on and find a woman that actually likes you and you don't have to convince. Hey, yeah. Son, your mother and I need to have a talk with you. Yeah, what is it, Dad? We want to talk to you about your report card. Or we can talk about this video of mom from 2023 when she gets beat by five. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. You're <laughs> talking about your report card. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, sir. Honey, seriously? What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, 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 uh. Loyal guy or a rich cheater? I mean, I'm I know where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Rich, yeah. Cheater. Rich cheater. Rich cheater. Rich cheater. Rich cheater. You sure? Yes. For sure. Well, man is really loyal. I don't want broken loyal, honestly. Yeah, no. About the emotional damage, though, with the that comes with cheating. Therapy is expensive. Yeah. We can afford therapy. therapy. <laughs> I had my girls. Yeah, but yeah. Like, yeah. You can pay for a girl's trip. To be honest, I doubt these three donuts are going to have to worry about Delusion is real. rich or a broke man. I think they're probably going to have to make some poor cat or bear suffer. Would you rather be alone in the woods with a man or a bear. I think Can we that stop with this question really already? Agency to answer it either way. This kind of frightens me as a man of two young boys that I have to raise, right? That if I was out fishing with my boys, a woman hiking would be more fearful of me than a bear. I mean, like, this is frightening. And people wonder why I don't go out anymore for a beer. This is the mentality now in society. Yeah, I'm glad that he said it. And uh, men are more, you'd rather be with a bear? I'm so glad he said that, though. But seriously, I am sick and tired of hearing questions like this. Would you want to be, would you rather be with a man or a bear? Why can't you just be with a man that you're married, that you're in a relationship with? A bear is not going to protect you. Bears are dangerous animals. And if you want to be with a bear, by all means, but guess what? When you die, that's on you. If you keep making stupid assumptions of a man that's not going to protect you, but you would rather choose a bear just because. Like, TikTok has been doing some stupid trends lately. And that's why everybody's minds is all messed up because they believe in this delusion Rather than believe in reality, the reality is a bear or dangerous animal is not going to protect you. No, 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 no. What's the most a guy should spend on a wedding ring? Oh, here I didn't we go. A huge rock, so I'm guess that it, it probably costs. Delusions, like, delusions, delusions. I want a big ass rock, so I'm guessing it's going to cost like a lot of money. <laughs> like that's ever going to happen. Yeah, that's what I said. Is a man less of a man if he can't change a flat tire? Oh gosh. Yeah. Yes, less of a man? No. No? I don't think so. No, but I would want my man to know how to change tire. So he's less of a man then? I guess. No. Yeah. Yes? I said yeah. So then, for those of you who said yes, is a woman less of a woman if she can't cook a meal? No. No. Yes? No. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say yes unless your man likes to cook and you don't know how to cook, yeah. so. Okay. I mean, hmm? Which yeah. means you're lazy. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. If a woman doesn't know how to cook, she needs to learn how to cook. And ladies, the like biggest thing no, that I could have, ever No, they should have been told how to cook a long Amazon time ago. Sous vide, S-O-U-S-V-I-D-E. You will make the perfect steak every single mm. time. And you will win over 100% of the men that Aww. you make a steak for. I like hey, that one. she said it. I do. Like, I don't want no tin. You don't want a 10? Not with looks. Why? Because you're just too pretty. Grow up. Oh. <laughs> We're both fighting over lighting. We both in the mirror. Like, no, you taking selfies. Uh, ladies, if you've got a man that fights with you for your mirror or lighting or is constantly taking selfies, you probably don't like women. <laughs> 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 
How short is too short? 5'10", preferably. 5'11", 6'0". Short is too short. Basically, if you're under 6 foot, I don't want to talk to you. Do you think looks are important? Sometimes, so it depends on the man. What about money? Wait, money this in the 60s? Would you marry an ugly man? I've married one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got friends who are short oh my because God. they don't give a shit and they don't let it shape their personality. No one else seems to notice and they don't have any problems with women. And also, the women only care about that and not worth your time anyway. This man requested that on the second date, the woman come with no makeup on. How do y'all feel about that? How do we feel about that? <laughs> yeah, let's it's talk just... about it. How dare you request how I show up to right. the date? First of all, yeah. like, mm -hmm. I haven't thought about it. I was just like listening to the segment. Right. But I do believe that there is some validity in understanding who a woman is and what she does look like. Right. Before you are too far along. Right. Right. I agree. Yeah. Um, I think requesting it is kind of outrageous. Mm -hmm. you're not uh huh. Then you're not the one for him. So basically what you're saying is that you want a man your first date to like you for who you are. When you're wearing booty shorts, it's tight with villain outfits. And wearing extra layers of makeup. That tells me that you're insecure and you have a lot to hide. So, if you can't be honest with a man, you're not honest with yourself. Boom. Not happening. Right. Um, but I feel like, I mean, eventually I'm going to want to be comfortable around you. So, I'm going to, you know, not wear makeup. I'm going to be in my sweatpants and my, you know, baggy t-shirt. Just because that's how I am on a regular basis, you know? But for you to request that... I don't think that's appropriate. There is no need to ask a woman to turn up to a date without any makeup on. If she's wearing copious amounts, it's probably because she's hiding something. Exactly. Stay clear. You're going to wake up one day and think there's someone else next to you. Hey, guy in the white. Yeah, she's for the streets. The fake Travis score. She belongs to the street. Shout out to Rocco TV once again. Sometimes in life we cannot accept delusions because if these people no, if these people really say who they really are and really believe in it and knowing full well that they're not really practicing of what they say or preach, then they're the ones that are in need of therapy really bad. So at the end of the day, you can't fix stupid and you can't fix people that don't want the help. So your best options is to just be at your own lane. So once again, shout out to Araco TV. Let's do the original video. We'll be down below and I'm going to catch y'all.